this video is also the arc length example four it says find the arc length of the graph of the function y equals 5 e to the x over 150 plus e to the negative x over 150 on this interval negative 100 to 100 round your answer to three decimal places so we are given the function and the interval we do need to find the derivative so the derivative here is going to be my constant multiplier times the derivative of each of these two terms so you get e to the x over 150 times the derivative of that which is 1 over 150 and then the next term is e to the negative x over 150 but the derivative of that exponent is negative 1 over 150 so if I reduce this I end up with that's actually half so I end up with one half e to the x over 150 minus e to the negative x over 150 okay I just factored out the 1 over 50 and reduced 75 over 1 over 150 75 over 150 reduces to 1 half now I've got to square this okay so if I square this I get one fourth times e to the x over 150 minus e to the negative x over 150 squared. And if I distribute that all out, I get e to the x of 2x over 150 minus 2e to the 0 because x over 150 plus negative x over 150 is 0 plus e to the negative 2x over 150 which simplifies into e to the x over 75 minus 2 plus e to the negative x over 75 so notice that when I square this with a negative this is what I end up with okay now I need to add 1 to this expression So if I add 1, it's the same as adding 4 over 4. And that is the same as if I were to take this term and this term and factor out the one fourth. I would get four plus one times all of this stuff, which is just going to be those terms exactly as they are. And then these two terms combined will give me. positive 2 and then I can factor that into this squared okay so all I'm doing is following the same thing here notice when I had this squared I ended up with these things being squared themselves which reduced to these and then this times this but doubled so that ended up being e to the zero being doubled with the negative because it was a positive times a negative however the same thing applies here if I multiply this times itself I will get this and if I reduce it I get that this times itself I will get this up here and if I reduce it I get that and then these two multiplied by themselves is e to the zero positive e to the zero and you double that you get two times e to the zero which is just two so this does in fact multiply out to give me that therefore the factor of this is this okay so now I should be able to plug everything into my arc length 
negative 100 to 100 and the square root of 1 plus y prime squared is the square root of this. So the square root of 1 fourth is 1 half and then the square root and the square will undo each other. And so really you have the integral of each of these two terms. So if you use u sub for each one of them, if I have u equal to x over 150, then du will equal 1 over 150 dx, which means 150 du will equal dx. So this one here will, fact, will integrate into 150 e to the u, which is x over 150. And if I do the same thing, I'm gonna use a w with the negative x over 150. dw would be negative one over 150 dx, and then negative 150 du, dw would be dx. So I can substitute that in here, so I'll get negative 150 e to the u, which is negative x over 150. And you can combine these into just one big minus sign. And then I can distribute this one half, or factor out the one half, and then or factor out the 150 and reduce it with a 2. You end up with 75 Oh, I still have to evaluate it from negative 100 to 100. So let's plug these in. We get 75 times E. 100 over 150 actually reduces... to two-thirds minus e to the negative two-thirds minus and then when you plug in that it'll give you negative two-thirds and when you plug in that it'll become positive two-thirds so this will become negative and this one will become positive so you get 75 times 2 e to the two-thirds minus 2e to the negative 2 thirds. And I don't know what that is, but we can plug it into the calculator to round it to three decimal places. So 75 parentheses e raised to the 2 thirds minus, oh, I forgot the 2, minus 2e raised to the negative 2 thirds. And we get 215.148. Now, as long as you show um, that you've plugged in the 100 and the negative 100, you don't necessarily have to do so many steps to get the decimal. You could just plug this entire expression in your calculator as long as you know how to type it in there correctly. Um, I always try to do as much as I can by hand so that I don't have so much to type in a calculator because the more you have to type in, the more likely you are to make a typo. So I just make sure that I am only typing the bare minimum that I need to type in. But that's just my preference. You could have plugged all of that in there. Once it's on your paper, you could have plugged all that in and gotten this decimal.